Hello and welcome to the Old Gold and Black uh, for this preview of the Leicester City home fixture in the Premier League. Uh, only the second time we've ever played Leicester in the Premier League at home. No prizes for guessing the other uh, time. Wolves 3-0 down at half-time uh, thanks to a couple of Les Ferdinand goals for Leicester. And then Wolves came back and won 4-3. A fantastic match and one which I will do a classic commentary for later today. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, and don't forget as well, like and subscribe to the channel. Let's get the numbers up or something. I think quite a lot of people as well have said that they're missing my videos. Just make sure that you've got the bell on as well. Um, I don't want to keep going on about it, but yeah, that's that's why people are missing some of uh, my videos. But anyway, it's time to get into the nitty gritty, the... Uh, Game tomorrow, a big match in terms of league position. I think both teams have got ambitions of finishing in 7th place at the end of the season. Wolves are currently 11th in the table, Leicester up in 8th. But there's only two points separating the teams at the moment. And if Wolves were to win the game, they would go above Leicester. But currently Wolves have won 8 and lost 9. And I've been saying over the last couple of weeks, because it looks like we're not going to be relegated or any sort of relegation battle... My ambition for the season is for Wolves to win as many games or win more than they lose. I think that would be a very good return for um, a first season back in the Premier League. Obviously, we're well aware of Leicester's team this season. Claude Puel seems to be under constant threat. I'm just reading the prediction here on the internet, and it says that if he was to lose the game tomorrow, he's going to get sacked, which seems to be the case for every other game that he plays. Um, so... Hopefully we can put the pressure on them. They've had a very inconsistent winter period. They've beaten Man City and Chelsea, but then lost to Newport County and Cardiff. So it's a very up and down sort of time for Leicester at the moment. They did win the fixture earlier on in the season, our first away game, losing 2-0 to uh, Leicester in that game. But Wolves played very, very well uh, for long periods of that game. And if uh, Doherty would have had a better day that day, maybe we'd have uh, come away with the three points. He uh, had... A goal line clearance against him and then scored an own goal and then got clattered by Vardy but apart from that I think we dominated possession we created lots of chances and it looked like Wolves were going to get something from that game just a moment of madness from Doherty and a moment of brilliance from James Madison sealed the points for Leicester on that day I think Leicester do have a couple of weaknesses that perhaps we could expose uh, Wes Morgan aging at the back and you know, is susceptible to a mistake as well. And I think if if we can turn it into a bit of a foot race with Jota and Traore against their big centre backs, although Maguire is quite, you know, uh, agile for a big lad, uh, I think we could possibly get something from that. Be yeah, a couple of players to look out for. Ricardo Pereira, uh, the right back, uh, has done really well recently. Chipped in with a few goals. James Madison as well. Previously mentioned his goal against us in the first leg, uh, and He's taken to the Premier League like a duck to water from his, since he's moved from Norwich. I think he's done really, really well. And a play that we probably could have gone on side or were linked with certainly in the summer and perhaps would have added a little bit more to our team. In terms of Wolves team news, obviously Willy Bolly will not be playing. And then it's just a sort of a lottery, the front three. But they're the, they're the two main talking points. I think Dendonka showed that he's able and, and capable of playing in that position throughout the Man City game. I thought he was probably the standout player from that game. And I know that he's been highlighted as a midfield player for the rest of the season, but I don't think there's any harm in just the couple of games that he'll play in that centre-back position while Bolly's out. Or, of course, Romain Sace stepped in for Bennett earlier on in the season, uh, and whether he could play on the left side of that centre-back uh, three We'll have to wait and see, but it's going to be one of those two, I'd imagine. And then as for the front three, I've mentioned just now it's a lottery. Jimenez will definitely play. Then I would be playing Jota. I think he looked really sharp in the couple of games that we've seen him now, or the couple of spells that we've seen him against Liverpool and Man City. And I think he's uh, he's be the right man to take on that uh, position. And then in the other on the other side, it's a difficult one because nobody's really put their hand up and said, "Pick me." Costa had a few moments, Cavalier has had a few moments, but they haven't been consistent enough. And I don't know whether it might be worth starting Traore in this sort of game, uh, just to, because of the pace aspect, and I've mentioned about uh, Morgan and Maguire not having quite the pace that we've got up front, and hopefully that might cause them some problems. So I'm going to go for Traore uh, on the right-hand side with Jota on the left. So yeah, thank you for watching today's preview. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. And don't forget to drop a like, subscribe and everything else to the channel. I'll see you soon. 
Cheerio.